The peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you. It is the day the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We thank the faithful God, the Almighty God, for His sustenance, His protection, and how far the Lord has brought us. We give Him glory and honor. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our theme for reflection today is, But the Lord was at my side. But the Lord was at my side. Second Timothy 4, 14 to 17. Second Timothy 2, Second Timothy 4. 14 through to 17. But the Lord was at my side. Na every day I come home. Oh my God. We thank the Almighty God. We bless His name. We give Him all the glory and all the honor. It's my prayer today that the Lord will be on your side. May the Lord be on your side. I came to minister to you that may God be on your side. May Jehovah be on your side. The Lord you serve. May he be on your side. When Jesus is all you have, you learn Jesus is all you need. Yes. When Jesus is all you have, you learn Jesus is all you need. Hallelujah. So the reason I hope you never realize the truth of that statement is the only way you realize the truth of that statement is to lose a lot. When you have everything and you're on top of the world, it's very hard to appreciate the power of the state of that statement. Three verses toward the end of 2 Timothy underscore the reality of life as a disciple of Jesus. Sometimes you can do everything right and still be mistreated, even by those who claim to be Christians. This was the case with Paul, as he expresses in today's passage, 2 Timothy chapter 4. When Paul here, 14, Paul said, Alexander the metal worker did me a great deal of harm. The Lord repay him for what he has done. You too should be on your guard against him because he strongly opposed our message. He said, Alexander, the metal worker, opposed our message. Paul is saying that at my fair defense, no one came to my support, but everyone deserted me, but it not be held against them. But the Lord stood at my side. <laughs> when all men oppose you, when all men stand against you, may the Lord be on your side. May the Lord speak for you. May the Lord be your anchor. May the Lord be your restorer. May the Lord be your protector. Hallelujah. I like what Paul says. But the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength. Where is the source of your strength? Who is the source of your strength? It's my prayer that the source of your strength will be the Lord your God, the Adonai, the owner of all things. Psalm 24 says, The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Asasi, any mu attitude, any one, 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 any and I was delivered from the lion's mouth. Oh, I pray. If because of the gospel, people are opposing you, people have put a lot of uh, uh, obstacles on your way. I pray for the sake of God's word, for the sake of the gospel, may the Lord strengthen you, may the Lord equip you, may the Lord grant you power from on high to accomplish every task that the Lord has entrusted in your care by divine authority. Lord, I pray, I pray, I pray, whatever you are hearing my voice, I pray, whatever opposing your work, whatever opposing your ministry, whatever opposing the kingdom business, I pray may the power of God strengthen you 
May you be strengthened. Chia huwa ten fofro ne den. Chia huwa ten fofro. Tu e juma ne so. Koso kanse mpano. E ma wabe mu mu. Preach the word in season and out of season. Paul said, Alexander deserted me, but the Lord strengthened me. May the Lord be your strength. And David said, The Lord is my strength and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I pray. May the Lord be your strength and your salvation. May the Lord be your strength and your salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you and keep you. Today is a blessing for you. The Lord will order your steps. The Lord will equip you. The Lord will strengthen you. The power of God will grant you grace to forge ahead. God bless you and keep you. The ever living, ever faithful God. Lift up his countenance and be gracious unto you. Peace and life to you. I'm Reverend Foster Kofi Ampo, for Minister of Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Minister in charge of Revival and Resurrection Congregation. Peace and life to you. Bye-bye.